Hi, this is Shekhar Srinivasan, a Microsoft Certified Trainer, Plural Site Author and MVP C-Shop Corner. In this video, I will be explaining about Advanced List View Customization with the support of Data Template Selector. By default, whenever we customize the List View control, we can observe the items are displayed using a single template view. If you are not aware of how to customize the list view control, please watch my video on list view customization before continuing with this video. Now let us understand what is data template selector. A data template selector can be used to choose a data template at runtime based on the value of a data bound property. This enables multiple data templates to be applied to the same type of object in order to customize the appearance of selected objects. So what is the advantage of data template selector means? A data template selector can be used with the list view control while binding to a collection of objects where the appearance of each object in the list view can be chosen at runtime by the data template selector, returning a particular data template. Now let us understand the steps we need to follow while working with data template selector. There are five steps we need to follow in order to customize the list view control with the support of data template selector class. Step 1. Create a subclass for the data template selector class. When we inherit the data template selector class, first we need to define the properties for the data template types as per our requirement. And once the properties are defined, then we need to override on select template method, which returns the data template value. So while overriding the method, we can write our logic to verify which template should be used for the data object to display. Step 2. Since we need to refer the subclass of data template selector, we need to add the XML namespace reference for the assembly within the content page of SAML. To do, we need to use XML NS colon alias. For example, local equal to CLR namespace colon namespace name, assembly equal to assembly name. For example, in this sample, LV selector is the namespace name and the assembly name. Step 3. Create the data template as a resource dictionary as per the requirement within the content page. To do, within the content page dot resources, we need to add a resource dictionary tag and then in order to define the data template, we need to use data template. Provide a valid name using x colon key and then we can use any valid XAML code to prepare the template. Step 4. We need to create an instance for the data template selector subclass using the XML namespace alias. For example, since I have used the XML namespace alias as local in order to create the instance, we need to use local colon chat data template selector x colon key equal to name. Then when we need to bind the properties of the data template selector with the data template defined within the content page. For example, from template equal to static resource from template and so on. Finally, the last step that is step 5. Bind the data template selector subclass instance as a static resource for the list item of list view control. To do, when we define the list view control, we need to set the item template property value with the data template selector instance. Now let us understand practically how to customize the list view control with the support of data template selector. For understanding how to use multiple templates within the list view, I will use the design of a chart application. Let me open my IDE. I am using VS.NET 2017 RC for creating the demo. Let us first create the project. So let me click on File menu, New Project. Let me select 
cross platform and cross platform app from the templates and let me provide a meaningful name for example advanced list view customization and let me click on ok now within the templates let me select the blank app xaml and within the sharing let me select pcl and click on accept button it will take a few seconds to create the projects for the xamarin forms application as it has to create multiple projects one for android one for ios and one for uwp along with the portable library project for sharing the code to make the concept simple and clear i won't be using any design pattern for designing this application to be specific i will concentrate on how to use a data template selector for customizing the list view control let me first add the model class the name i want to provide is chat let me click on add the model class should be public so let me type in public now let me type in the properties for the chat class public string from user public string to user public string message public date time date sin public string image url public string status once i defined all the properties required for my application let me add a method to provide the chat messages so let me type in public list of chat get messages i wanted to have the list of chat messages so let me type in list of chat messages equal to new list of chat and i want this messages to be written so let me type in written messages now let me add a couple of messages to the chat collection using the collection initializer syntax you can add any data as per your requirement once we have the model now let us start with our requirement if we recollect the first step for customization is we need to have a subclass for the data template selector class with the name chat data template selector since the class has to be public let me type in public and then let me inherit data template selector now let us define the data template properties some important points we need to remember whenever we inherit the data template selector class data template selector instances have the following limitations the data template selector subclass must always return the same template for the same data if queried multiple times the data template selector subclass must not return another data template selector subclass the data template selector subclass must not return new instances of a data template on each call instead the same instance must be returned failure to do so will create a memory leak and we will disable the virtualization and finally for android platform we can define maximum of 20 different data templates per list view as our requirement is to customize the list view to provide the chat message screen we need two templates one for the from user message and the other one for the to user message so let me type in public data template from template public data template to template now since the data template selector class is an abstract class we need to provide the implementation for the abstract method so let me override the on select template method within this method we need to write the logic for selecting the template to be used at the run time the first argument object item returns the current object which has to be type casted so let me type in return of chat item dot status dot to upper dot equals of sent question mark from template colon to template i'm just verifying the status of the message 
if the status is sent then I am returning the from template else this method will return to template. Once the data template selector class is created then let me add a content page. Now within the content page the second step we need to follow is we need to add the reference of XML namespace. So let me type in XML NS colon local equal to CLR hyphen namespace the namespace name of our data template selector class. So let me copy the namespace name. It is advanced list view customization and then we need to provide the assembly details. So let me type in semicolon assembly equal to for this example assembly name is also same as namespace name. So let me paste the value. Once we have added the reference then the third step is we need to create the templates as per our requirement. So let me type in content page dot resources resource dictionary. We require two data templates one for the from user and the other one for the to user. So let me type in data template x colon key equal to from template data template x colon key equal to to template. Now as per our requirement how the contents has to be displayed for the from user message accordingly we need to design the user interface. So for the from template let me type in view cell view cell dot view. It is always advisable to use grid layout instead of using a nested stack layout with respect to the performance. But for my demonstration to create the UI faster I am going to use a nested stack layout. Let me add some simple code for providing the user interface to display the message of from user. I have a couple of stack layouts and labels and an image to display the message of the from user. Just pause the video for few seconds to understand the UI and then continue. Now let me copy the entire view cell of from template and let me paste it to the to template and let me make some couple of changes to the user interface to provide a different look and feel. So let me first remove the horizontal options equal to end and now then let me place the image of the user as the first element. Once the user interface for the data templates are created then the fourth step we need to perform is to create the instance for the data template selector subclass. So let me type in local colon chat data template selector x colon key equal to chat data template selector from template equal to static resource from template and to template equal to static resource to template. Here the static resource value is the key name provided for the data template present at the resource dictionary and from template and to template or the properties what we have defined within the chat data template selector subclass. Now the final step that is we need to set the item template for the list view. So let me type in content page dot content. I just wanted to place a label to display a simple header. So let me type in label text equal to Xamarin forms chat app font size equal to 30 and then let me add the list view control to display the chat messages. So let me type in list view x colon name equal to list messages has uneven rows equal to true item template equal to static resource chat data template selector. Once the UI has been designed perfectly we need to provide the data for the control. So let me open the code behind and within the constructor let me type in 
list messages dot item source equal to new chat dot get messages now let me set the main page for our application so let me open app dot xaml dot cs and let me comment the previous main page and type in main page equal to new chat view let me execute the application we can observe that a single list view is now displaying the list of objects using two different templates hope you have enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed in preparing this video if you like this video please subscribe my channel and give a like this encourages me to produce more videos if you want to contact me leave a comment or you can contact me using any of the below details happy programming